This is uh, Srinivas Kaveri here. Uh, I work with SPGEN School of Global Management. Uh, SPGEN is a, a higher education provider uh, in uh, Australia. We have campuses in uh, Singapore, Dubai, and uh, recently we will be inaugurating our next campus, which is in Bombay. Uh, we, uh, I particularly have used the leadership simulation, Everest uh, leadership simulation from HBSP. Uh, which is uh, often used on the uh, in the OB course or National Behavior course. Uh, our, our course structure is such a way that uh, it is fast track. Uh, every course runs for only nine days. We our program structure is uh, students attend uh, two hours of class every day for course, and uh, there will be simultaneously two courses running in. Let us say for morning, they are doing marketing management. Afternoon, somebody is doing supply chain management, for example. They will have two hours of marketing class, two hours of supply chain class. Four hours they are in the class and uh, they are uh, given access to the simulation. And uh, throughout the nine days, every day there will be certain deliverables for the students. And once that is done, facilitator or the faculty in the classroom will have a debriefing session for the students. What difficulties were taken and how each team has performed and um, where they went wrong, where other teams have taken decision, which decision was a good decision, why it was a good decision or why it was not a good decision. To Just to give you a, a update, our president uh, per se is very, very much keen into technology. He's a visionary. And his uh, focus is he thinks ahead. Uh, we we call, we call it our our um, sort of uh, uh, pedagogy as a business 2.0. Uh, he uh, mentions that our president mentions that um, earlier in the past um, decade, people were more of a traditional going to classroom, sitting there face to face. Somebody is lecturing you. Some slides are going on. You are just listening to that. That is called business 1.0. Now, business 2.0, wherein interaction. Interaction is important between the facilitator and the students. When um, you imagine a 10 story building, wherein uh, you start right from the uh, level one, that means once you are in the class, you are starting from level one and you are climbing till level 10, any textbook will talk the same thing, right? For that, you don't need someone to tell you that this is what is time value of money or this is what is market definition of marketing. That anyone can read from anywhere, any book. We want the student to do the basic core concepts which they have to do as a business student. They can do it on their own. When they are into the classroom, they are already at level four or level five. Faculty as a facilitator can take them from level five to level 10. And in this process, simulations are the best example. Generally, there will be a reflective report to be submitted. There will be class participation. There will be individual performance on the simulation, how they have performed while using the simulation. And, uh, and that will have different stages. For example, let's say there were four quarters Every quarter, a certain percentage will be there, let's say 10% or 15% you know, of it. Uh, then uh, we'll have a class participation component to it. There will be finally present, there will be a presentation, final presentation. Uh, because those are uh, group, SI, group simulations, uh, group will be presenting on the final day, group will be presenting their findings out uh, what they have done and what they have experienced using the simulation. Uh, from the student point of view, I would say the retention is more when they do uh, simulations. Uh, these simulations actually uh, help them to uh, assimilate what they learn in the classroom. Whatever they are learning in the practical uh, theory point of view, they implement this and experience the practical side of it. 